Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today we are going to discuss the case of psoriasis in the MRCPBS's Station 5 exam Psoriasis is a very common case in the exam How to approach a case of psoriasis in the exam? And what would be the scenario of the case of psoriasis? We'll bring you the scenario in the form of this patient is complaining of a skin rash and he will give you some information on the other informations and these and these informations is checking your approach for psoriasis for exacerbating factors and associated drugs and medical illness which can be associated and trigger this right creation. So in the scenario of psoriasis you have to concentrate for every word written in the uh, scenario because every word it, uh, it has meaning if you give you some medication that the patient is receiving it means something and mean this this medication can trigger this right crash is he giving for you uh, associated disease it has meaning as well so you have to concentrate on every word for this scenario in a case of psoriasis how to approach this case in psoriatic crash, you have to take the history, focus examination, and reply the patient concern. In the history, you have to take history of the skin rash, as all the skin rashes, it is fixed in history actually. The onset of this skin rash, course, duration, progression, sites, and the color, and uh, tell the uh, patient that you would like to see the skin rash. Can, I show, can you show me this skin rash, please? Worsening factors, improving factors, and you have to name the worsening factors like trauma, stress, exposure to sun, smoking, alcohol, drugs. Do you notice anything that improved this skin rash? Is it painful at all? Any secretions coming out, oozing? Is it blanchable? Is it itchy at all? So again, this, this approach or this the history of skin rash is fixed for all the cases of a skin rash. But when this skin rash started exactly, is it increasing, decreasing, or the same? Is it coming on and off all the time as you? Where is this skin rash in your body? What what about the color of this skin of this skin rash? Can you show me, please? And you can inspect and examine where is the rash in the patient. The site of the rash in the patient. Do you notice anything that increases rash like trauma, uh, stress, exposure to sun, smoking, alcohol, any drugs? Do you notice anything that improves this skin rash? Is it painful at all? Is it posing? Is it planchable? Is it itchy at all? Then the systemic review related to psoriasis. We know that psoriasis may be associated with other systemic symptoms that we are going to approach now for the nails any nail changes for arthrobacy, psoriatic arthrobacy, any joint pain or back pain for anterior viatis, any eye pain or redness for our ties and our trigger which is more associated with psoriatic arthrobacy but never mind if you ask it about, he about it here any chest pain, racing of heart beats, shorts of breath Leg swelling for apical length fibrosis, any cough or short of breath, coughing up blood. We know that psoriasis may be associated with needle changes that we are going to discuss later in the examination. Maybe associated with psoriatic arthrobacy, so you have to ask about any joint pain or back pain. Maybe associated with anterior viatis, so you have to ask about any eye pain or redness. Maybe associated with our ties or our garish, so you have to ask about. All cardiovascular symptoms in the form of chest pain, racing of heart beats, short breast leg swelling. It may be associated also with abical length fibrosis, is one of the causes of abical length fibrosis. So you have to ask about any cough, any shortness of breath. Like that, you finished your approach here. Then you will start with the social history, which is fixed for all the cases. Of station 5, station 2, and station 
um, four. Social history. Can I ask you some private question if you don't mind? What do you do for a living? Patient job. How much do the symptoms affect your job and usual daily activities? If it affects your usual daily activities, refer the patient to a social worker to solve any problem. If it affects his job, you, you have to refer the patient to occupational health care to solve any, any problem related to his job. With whom the patient is living, and what about financial support? And who is supporting him at home? Uh, do the patient smoke at all? Do the patient drink alcohol? Smoke and drinking alcohol very important here. Why? Because smoking and drinking alcohol can exacerbate his skin rash. You have to ask about any medical illness of note or any long standing disease like diabetes, hypertension, cardiac problems, surgical operations. Why? Because the patient may have hypertension and is receiving a treatment for hypertension, which may exacerbate his psoriatic rash, like beta blocker, S inhibitor. Any family history of similar condition or medical disease? Drug list. Any, what, what about your drug list, please? This is a very important question to be asked. Why? Because some drugs can exacerbate psoriasis. Uh, and of course, he will give you in the scenario some medication may uh, may be smoking, so that you have to advise him to stop smoking, and you can refer him to smoking cessation clinic uh, if you don't mind. And because smoking can exacerbate his rash, and also regarding the drug list, very important because the patient may be receiving some drugs that trigger his skin rash as well. So you have to change this drugs uh, with another drug which is safe in his condition. Then after examination, examination of course, you will uh, ask about the concern. If you lost the concern, you lost all the exam. Examination of a patient of psoriasis, how to approach you. the examination, focus the examination, expose and examine the rash carefully. Where is the rash in your body? Can I see please? Examine the eyes for anterior, then examine the systemic review related to uh, psoriasis. So examine the eyes for anterior viatis and the hairline and the posterior area for scalp psoriasis. Examine the hand for uh, two things: the nail for nearly, ch nearly changes, and nearly changes will be in the form of nail bathing, transverse ridges, onchoalysis, or subangle hyperkeratosis. And examine also for signs of arthropathy. Signs of um, joint swelling, small joint swelling. And respiratory, you have to ausculate the apex, post apex of post length for apical length fibrosis. Cardiovascular system, you can put your cystoscope in the aortic area for aortic regurgitation and aortitis, or in the pulmonary area for signs of secondary pulmonary hypertension of pulmonary fibrosis of the patient. This is how to approach the examination of psoriasis. Okay, then the patient, then after that, the discussion with the examiner, the examiner. Uh, will ask you some questions, but before that, you have to reply the patient concerns and you have to ask about the concerns. And we have many concerns, the most common concerns are asked in the case of psoriasis. What could be this skin rash, doctor? Most probably, you have a condition called psoriasis, it is due to disturbance of your uh, defensive system, which is supposed to attack the bugs and bacteria. But in your condition, it attacks the skin itself, uh, causing such this skin rash. Okay, so what you are going to do for you is to do for you basic blood tests, blood uh, tests, and to take snip from the eruption of this skin rash to confirm our diagnosis, and then we will refer you to a skin physician, to or in the outpatient clinic to give you the proper care and the land of management. This is how to prescribe 
and the skin rash or the psoriasis for the patient. Okay, uh, don't forget very um, very important thing here that you have to advise the patient regarding smoking and alcohol. Maybe he will give you a smoker patient, a patient who is a smoker or alcoholic, so that you have to advise the patient and reply the concern to stop the triggering or exacerbating factor for this psoriatic rash. So at the time being, you have to stop smoking as it is one of the triggering factors for skin eruption. We can help you on this issue by referring you to a smoking cessation clinic, if you don't mind. And also you have to uh, abstain also from drinking alcohol or stop drinking alcohol uh, because it is one of the uh, triggering factors as well for your psoriatic rash. If the patient is receiving any treatment in this scenario, we have to change for you uh, your treatment either beta blocker, S inhibitor, lithium, anti-malarials, NSA, tetracycline. If the patient is receiving any one of these uh, treatment, so you have to exchange the treatment for the patient uh, because such this treatment can trigger the skin rash as well. <clears throat> okay, what if the patient or, or the, the scenario came as a case of psoriasis and a straight with hepatitis C? This is a common scenario in the exam actually. Why it brings hepatitis C with psoriasis? Because the concern of the patient that his bowel physician is going to give him medication called interferon alpha. What about interferon alpha, doctor? My uh, bowel physician is going to give me interferon alpha. It's known that interferon alpha is one of the triggers also for psoriatic rash. So, but it is one of the treatment, important treatment for uh, hepatitis C. But you are not the one to decide to stop interferon alpha or to give interferon alpha. So, the, the best reply in this condition or in this for this question will be in the form of um, interferon alpha is one of the triggering factors, triggering drugs for your psoriatic rash. At the same time, it is very important treatment for hepatitis C. So, what we are going to do is to do uh, or to make multidisciplinary team from uh, the gut physician or the bowel physician and the skin doctor to outweigh the risk versus the benefit for this treatment and according to that they are going to take the decision in the best interest of your condition. This is how to reply the question of interferon alpha inhibition with psoriasis. The examiner will ask you, what's your fines here, doctor? So you will prescribe him your post fines. This patient has uh, ill circumscribed raised skin rash, scaly, uh, silvery scaly uh, skin rash, and then his elbows, knees, or whatever, or the back, whatever the site. No signs of arthropathy or anterior uveitis or scalp rash, or you have to make it negative or positive according to your fines. And also for lung fibrosis, you have to um, check for lung fibrosis, apex of both lungs for any crepitation or your aortic area for any uh, aortic rigor uh, signs. Uh, the examiner can ask you what's your differential diagnosis for skin rash. Uh, don't make a lot of differential diagnosis. Psoriatic rash is known elevated and scaly uh, circumscribed patches in the uh, extensor areas of the patient. So it may be uh, because of chronic eczema. Chronic, chronic eczema can come in the same um, the same, same manner or the same pattern or maybe lichen planus. There is something called or there is a condition of lichen planus called lichen planus inversus which coming in the extensor surface the same as the same manner or the same pattern of um, psoriasis. <clears throat> so we have only two differential diagnoses, that's enough for us. Only like in plenus inversus maybe or chronic eczema. Okay, he will ask you uh, what you are going to do for this patient. I'm going to make 
non from uh, make investigation in the form of CBC lights kidney basic investigation in the form of CBC lights kidney function liver function and uh, and also serum uric acid because such as bishami has um, increased uh, susceptibility for uh, for hyperuricemia because of breakdown of the um, of the hyper uh, keratosis of the skin and this also makes those to renal stone as well uh, basic investigation in the form of it is a clinical uh, diagnosis or maybe to take a snip or a biopsy uh, for a pathologist to be sure about our diagnosis one difficult question can be in the form of what the pathological or the um, uh, what about uh, your finds under the microscope for this patient um, so this patient has many uh, microscopic uh, fissures in the form of hyperkeratosis, acanthosis multiple abscesses of Monroe and dilated capillaries uh, he can ask you as well what the management to blame for the patient non-pharmacological treatment in the form of patient education and counseling avoiding triggering factors psychosocial support and occupational support, support and pharmacological treatment in the form of local treatment local steroid salicylic acid tar calcitriol and uh, can be systemic treatment in the form of photochemotherapy and also biological treatment and methotrexate, DMARD, or disease, uh, disease uh, rheumatoid disease the modifying drugs like methotrexate, and may, maybe biological treatment. This is a common question asked in a case of psoriasis, and this is how psoriasis is discovered. It is one of the most easy cases coming in the exam. That if, if it came to you, you can guarantee um, the full mark of this case if you proceeded the same in the same pattern don't forget in this case to ask about the right to crash analysis of the right to crash the systemic review of the vision related to psoriasis and to ask about triggering factors triggering factors can be asked by smoking and alcohol history and also the drugs that the patient is receiving because you have to manage the concern. Uh, thank you and see you in the next stations, inshallah.